All right. Hello, guys. Hi, mga cutie. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Dalang Walang Curfew. Usapang hindi na lockdown. Ito ang Quaranto. Hi, Hi, everyone. Welcome to our week three. And this is the 49th day of the quarantine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ayan, so as we start you know, tonight, because it's very exciting, dahil tonight ang ating highlight ay fitness and nutrition. Pero bago yan, tat- punta mo na tayo sa latest news for the day. That's right. By the way, Aya, before we proceed there, kaya tayo pumasok agad, 10.50 pa lang, kasi 11 tayo usually. Kasi mamayang 11.30, merong weekly message kasi si President Duterte. So... Itatry natin na ipasok din yung message na dito mamaya ng 11.30. Kaya we will now begin. Okay. Little story, Aya. Go ahead. Yes. Oops. Ako pala yan. Dalawa. <laughs> okay. So, yan po ang latest na numbers po natin sa COVID. At si Aya po ang magahatit ng balitang yan sa inyo. Go ahead, Aya. Thank you, Joel. So today, meron nga talang 262 new cases ng COVID-19. And that makes the total confirmed cases here in the Philippines at 9,485. And meron po tayong confirmed deaths today na 16 casualties. So ang total tally na po ng ating um, deceased ay 623. But mm-hmm. on a good Right. Meron naman tayong 101 recovered patients today. So our total recoveries is now at 1,315. Ayan, sana magtuloy-tuloy. Sana mas maraming recover from this um, infection. And yeah, kung mapapansin nyo sa total cases natin, talaga exponential yung growth niya. By the 200 to 300, ang growth niya per day. And yan nga, malapit na tayo mag 10,000. Pero talagang mas pinag-iingat ang lahat kasi kung titingnan natin sa kalagay ng Singapore, medyo nag-relax sila na konti and now they're on their 18,000 already. So, even Germany na nagluwag din sila ng kanilang rules on uh, lockdowns, biglang nag-second wave. So, ito yung mga learnings sana na i-take into consideration ng ating pamalan. Still on the COVID area, gusto ko lang din i-share ito dahil na ibalita rin kanina na Ito, may, 100, may 195 na mga prisoners or huwag natin gamitin prisoners, uh, PDLs, okay? Yeah, persons yeah, yeah. deprived of liberty and 38 BJMP employees, uh, they tested positive for COVID-19. Ito yung isa sa pinaka nakakatakot na situation, eh, yeah, kasi ang mga jail, ang jail nat, jails natin sa buong Pilipinas ay sobrang congested and here we go. Diba? So, ito yung facts na kailangan natin harapin ngayon at ang ating pamahalaan kung paano maiiwasan yan. Sabi nga nila, yun nga, halos 200 inmates at lagpas na 30 jail employees na nag-test positive. Ayon kay DOH Yusek Verhere, at least 373 persons PDLs ang na-test. So, malaking bilang yan. Halos half, more than half ng, ng mga nag-test ang nag-positive. So, sana maagapan pa yan. Correct. And I'm um, sorry, i-highlight din natin no, na nagkakaroon na ng mga evidence na possible yung magkaroon ng second infection ang mga taong in- na-infect na at kahit naka-recover na, may possibility pa rin to once again have COVID-19. So, kailangan talaga ng um, str- more um, strict na implementation of all the measures that we have. Right. Okay, so sunod naman natin balita, eh, ah. Um, this is uh, good news naman para sa ating state of education dahil pumasa na ang alternative learning system bill okay, sa Senado. Pumasa to sa third reading ang alternative learning system. It allows uh, out-of-school youth, uh, PWDs, IPs, and underserved communities na makatanggap ng edukasyon. Basically, we have 22 senators ang naging pabor sa Senate bill na to that will guarantee equitable opportunities for all learners. Ayon kay Senator Gatchalian, ang principal author ng uh, panukalang ito, eh talagang makakatulong to 
sa lahat ng ating mga kababayan, lalo na yung mga kabataan na makapag-aral. So this is a good opportunity no, para makakuha ng quality education itong usual na sectors na hindi nakakapag-aral. Yes, ang maganda sa app na yan, I think it's very localized. So ang cities and municipalities will also have um, different means kung ano yung masaakma sa mga taong kailangan mag-undergo ng alternative learning system sa lugar nila. Alright, so ina, tapos na tayo sa latest news natin. Eya, ano ang sunod natin? Yes, so every every night that we have this parent talk, we also talk about the trends. And, of course, sa current trends, tonight, pag-uusapan natin ang latest sa diet and fitness. So, and of mm. course, to share also some of the fitness apps that we discovered and we use. But before we go there, let's talk about diet. Jules, okay. um, ano ang mga pwede mong ishare sa amin na experience, maybe personal or maybe something that you discovered um, about dieting? Yeah, ako, I've been struggling to to diet. Hindi naman kailangan, pero para lang masaya kasi feeling ko mas magiging masaya ako kung mas fit yung katawan ko. So, ginagawa ko tong IF, itong intermittent fasting. At nakakalungkot siya kasi hindi ako makakain ng maayos lagi. So, sa 24 hours, 16 hours yung fasting dito at 8 hours lang yung kain. So ang ginagawa ko, hindi ko alam kung tama to. Narinig ako ni coach ngayon. Mag-comment ka na lang mamaya, coach. Ang ginagawa ko since 8 hours lang ako, 8 hours lang ako nakakakain. Ang ginagawa ko, gigising ako ng mga 1 o 2 p.m. Tapos noon para pa rin ako kumain agad. Tapos noon 8 hours lang hanggang 9 p.m. Kain ako na kung ano-ano. Tapos noon, bawal na. Tutulog ako ng mga ano ba? Dahil si Ramba di clock ko siguro mga 3, 4, 5 a.m. ako natutulog. So nararamdaman ko yung gutom ng mga ano, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Ayan. Hindi ko naman nag-work, ewan ko, or nag lang ako. Ikaw ba, Eya? Uh, may, mga, may mga colleagues ako na na-try ang intermittent fasting. And nakita ko rin naman sa kanila yung result. Nag-wonder lang ako kasi diba kung 8 hours ka namang tulog, 8 hours ka talagang hindi kakain. So I, I don't know how difficult this is or how challenging, pero I think Depende rin talaga ito sa nakasanayang routine and if you can change your routine. Um, yun, daily habits of course. Yeah, di ko naman, I tried yung OMAD, yung one meal a day. Pero kapag meron lang uh, urgent project na gagawin, kung nalang may, may show na gagawin, tapos kailangan uh, mukhang fit sa TV. Uh, kasi nga 10 pounds ang nadadagdag sa TV, so doon ako nag-OMAD lagi. One meal a day. At nakakalungkot po yung diet na yun. <laughs> talagang sumusungit ka talaga. Uh, um, sorry, speaking of diet, mayroon ako isang na-discover. Um, it's called the carnivore diet. So, walang okay. carbohydrates, pero wala rin plants, wala rin legumes, walang greens. So, carny, as in car, carnivore diet, so puro meat lang talaga, and red meat, and okay. different kinds of meat. Um, may mga nakikita ko nagpo-post, th- those who are really avoiding fat sa mga nakikito diet, etc., Pero mas common siya sa mga nagbe-build ng muscles, yung mga bodybuilders na sport talaga for them ang bodybuilding. So meron tinatawag na carnivore diet. I just find it intriguing. I'm gonna read more about it but I honestly don't think that I'll be a carnivore <laughs> myself. Ayun. Um, so just from eating, let's go to um, exercise and workout. So Ano naman ang app na na-discover mo ngayong quarantine period? Yung app na discover ko ay tinatawag na Muscle Booster. Okay. Muscle Booster siya. So, yan siya. Uh, well, actually, nagbayad ako for that. <laughs> parang, pero ano, for one year naman siya. So, parang daily siya na may gagawin kang mga routines. Hindi ko alam kung tama din itong nagawa ko, Coach. <laughs> Comment. Basically, naka- Nakaka-20 days na akong ginagawa to. Eh, yeah. Masaya naman siya kasi may ginagawa, may nilulook forward ako na routine every night. Kasi g- gabi lang ako may chance makapag-workout after kung mag-work from home. Ayan siya. So it's muscle booster. Actually, super daming mga apps eh, yan na pwedeng makita ngayon sa App Store or sa Google, Google, Google Store. Right. Ikaw yun, anong um, nakita? Sorry. Yeah, but... How much did it cost you? 
I think about 3,000 pesos for a year. Ah, okay. All right. Bye-bye. So, no, kasi di ba may month, yeah. pag monthly membership fee sa gym, di ba? Medyo tarian for the rest of the year mo yeah. na gagamitin. Tapos, Pero, bumili rin ako ng dumbbell. May nag-deliver. Uh, so, meron din. May makakita ka sa Facebook na pwede mag-deliver sa inyo. Right. Um, so, ako naman, I found this app. I think meron din for beginners, for intermediate, and for those who want some advanced workout. It's called the 7-Minute App. Mm-hmm. I downloaded that because, number one, it's free. Number two, nakaset yung mind ko na kailangan ko lang bumalik sa routine ng pag-workout every day. So, I wasn't okay. really looking for something very intense. I just wanted the... Um, an Very app deep. that would kind of yeah track also that every day na log niya kung il- ano yung um, routine na ginawa mo ganon katagal ilan yung calories etc. yeah so meron ding options if you want to target um specific muscles in your body pero meron din yung total workout so, so seven naman, minutes lang siya yeah yes per 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 set of workout seven minutes lang so pwede kang mag but Maria, you want today focus on your abs and on your back. So you can have seven minutes of your car muscle training and then seven minutes for your back and then something like that. So yon. Mm-hmm. So pwede mo naman siyang i- i- mix. Pero syempre, better pa rin kung sana may coach kang nag-guide sa'yo sa kung ano yung tamang mix and match ng routine and workout that you want. So yon. But I used it um in the beginning of April just to get back on track, tsaka for cardio also. Mm-hmm. So, yun. Yun okay. ang ating mga yeah. latest discoveries for during this quarantine period. And, and yun, if you guys have... Yung mga friends natin, pwede lang mag-download ng mga apps para, syempre, meron silang inilulok forward na routine sa houses nila. Right. If you have suggestions, guys, please feel free to comment um, on our thread so we can share and explore that also. So, ayan. Kung meron kayong diet trends or fitness apps that you would want to share with us, go ahead and comment. Okay. So, syempre, ang pinaka-core ng ating show ngayon, eh, meron tayong guest para dito sa ating fitness. At ang ating pinaka-topic um, para sa quarantine, quarantine thinking area, ano nga ba? Yes, of course. It's still fitness and depression. Pero, uh, yun, kasi iba, iba pa rin kapag may nag-guide sa'yo and personalized yung training sa so, kung ano yung kailangan mo. So, Jules, you might wanna introduce our guest for tonight. Yes. So, itong coach na makakapanayam natin live dito sa Quaranto kay aking personal coach at bossing sa Anytime Fitness Maginhawa. Talagang uh, siya ang pinaka big man na talagang uh, inaabangan ng lahat ng mga customers ng Anytime Fitness Maginhawa kasi siya ang pinaka, para sa akin na, para rin sa marami expert sa lahat ng mga dapat mong gawin sa loob ng gym. Kaya naman, let's all welcome, walang iba, mula sa Anytime Fitness Maginhawa, Coach Oli Montevirgen. Ayan sa 3, 2, 1, pasok. Hi, Coach! Ayan. Hello. Hello. Uh, sure. Yeah, clear, clear. Hindi ako sure dun sa big man na sinabi mo, <laughs> Medyo debatable ata yun. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ayun, okay. long time. Yes, uh, clear okay. naman. Okay, okay. Sige, Eya, go ahead. Ikaw na una magtanong. Kaminom ka pa ba, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Teka, ikigit na ako si Coach Chow. Wait lang. Eya, where are you? Okay, balik ka, Eya. Let's go. Okay, ayan. Perfect. Okay, Eya, go ahead. Yes, coach. Uh, marami kasi ngayong quarantine, syempre, mas malami sa atin ang nasa bahay lang. Pero can you tell us again the importance, lalo na sa period na to, na nasa bahay lang yung mga tao, bakit kailangan pa rin natin maging fit and healthy at mag-work out? Well, syempre, ito based na lang din sa WHO recommendations. So, ano bang alam natin about fitness, di ba? So, basically, physical activity, ano ba benefits nito? Um, 
syempre, boost yung immune system, uh, releases endorphins, um, helps decrease blood pressure, yung mga ganyan. I think, alam na natin yan eh, na, and what more way better to start a fitness journey than any period na wala ka namang ginagawa, di ba? Kesa naman sa, ewan ko kung may tatamaan na mag-binge ka ng Netflix or kesa naman sa, in short, di ba, kesa naman sa maging couch potato ka dyan na wala kang ginagawa na, yan, puro ka TV, puro ka Netflix, puro ka, yan, Kain. TikTok or what. Kain. <laughs> At buti sa TikTok nila yung workout nila, no, Coach? Ayun, yun, pwede yun. <laughs> yun, pwede yung ganun. So, Coach, so, ganitong, sa ganitong klaseng pandemic, ano bang klaseng, ano bang mindset dapat ng bawat uh, tao given na lockdown nga sila sa mga bahay nila? Ano bang dapat maging mindset nila sa loob ng mga bahay nila? Uh, siguro una, um, people don't have to limit themselves kasi pagka sinabing workout ang iniisip eh, equipment, iniisip gym setting. Um, I think, since, I think we could all agree na nasa time or situation tayo na hindi to normal eh. So, you, you have to be creative. Um, narinig ko, sinabi mo kanina, nakapagpa-deliver ka ng dumbbells. Yan, okay yan. Good yan. If you have access, if you have a gym equipment or whatever sa bahay, go ahead. Pero, for those who can't, and idadahilan nila minsan, eh, wala naman akong gamit sa bahay. Ang daming pwedeng gawin. And, when we say physical activity, necessary doesn't mean na uh, exercise lang. So, y- y- you could increase yung yung general physical activity mo during the day. So, do household chores, ganyan. Pero if we're going to talk about exercise, siguro focus mo dyan is yung basic body movements, yung lagi kong tinuturo sa'yo, Jules, na yung backbone ng program natin na basic human movements, andyan yung mga pang lower body, upper body. So, yun lang, you have to be creative. And sa panahon ngayon, ewan ko kung hindi pa available sa net or kay Google or whatever na yung na-mention mo ring app na sinusundan mo. ba parang readily available eh. So, question is, how and dapat ka bang magsimula? Well, dapat, oo, dapat day one pala nagsimula ka na. Yung how, maraming ways eh. You have to be creative lang. Um, of course, you just have to keep in mind yung yan, mga precautionary measures. Um, wala bang family history or fit ka ba to work out? Um, yung mga ganun stuff. Parang regular self-assessment may sarili mo siguro na feasible ba sa house? Safe ba? Kasi baka naman sa eagerness mong mag-workout, okay, sige, given, nandun na, eh, hindi pala safe mag-workout sa loob ng bahay. So, what's the use? You have to be creative kung paano mo i-plug in yung pag-workout mo nun kung hindi safe sa bahay. Maybe, yeah. baka garahe or kung pinapayagan pa kayo sa village nyo na mag-jog, of course, with proper social distancing and all. Apply yeah. mo pa rin yun. Um, yun, ganun lang. Um, be creative siguro. Um, start, start where you're at. Um, you don't have to think big. Kasi minsan kasi masyadong goal natin na kailangan ganito workout ko. Nung nag-gym kasi ako, ito yung mga ano, kailangan ganito. You, you, you have to start somewhere. Kahit anong klaseng physical activity, okay yan. Siguro that would last you max na siguro 2 or 3 months then saka mo problemahin paano pa i-level up kasi tinga mo nakailang <laughs> pang ilang araw na tayo kaka problema mo na anong workout ko anong workout ko nakakadalawang buwan na tayo di ba wala na nangyari eh, nag- wala nang nasimulan diba? wala ka na nang simulan eh kaka kakaisip mo should i or how day ano na hello <laughs> 49 49 na okay. di ba Parang ang dami mong plano na extend na nga, baka ma-extend pa or baka matapos na yung quarantine, wala ka pa nasisimulan. So, you just have to start any okay. ano any movement. Right. Um, coach, dahil dyan, yes. um, excited ako na tatakot tonight sa episode nito <laughs> kasi 
Uh, uh, meron, kasama ka namin at tuturuan mo kami ng some tips or basic routine na pwedeng gawin ng mga tao na nanawad sa atin also na pwedeng for different levels of fitness, ba? Diba? So, ayan, para example ako at saka si Joel, manasa opposite ends kami ng spectrum ng fitness. Okay, so game na so, tayo. Uh, okay, sige, sige. Na mag-workout na Sige, sige. Set up ko okay. lang yung kama. Okay, yan. So, habang mm-hmm. nagsiset up po kami, uh, mayroon kaming gagawin na very s- simple ba? Basic na workout na pwedeng Basic sundan lang. nyo kahit small lang yung place, small area. Okay, lipat lang ako. Ay, ano ka ka ba yung routine natin tonight? Ay, nandito nga pala ako sa Hatch Hub. Na hindi rin ko kikita ngayon. <laughs> Wala rin kita oh. ngayon dahil, dahil sa quarantine. Just. Oh, yeah. Set up ko yes. lang ha, okay lang. Yes. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already. Pagkatin niya ulo ko for the rest of the day, for the night. <laughs> okay. Narinig mo pa ako? Narinig niya pa ako? Yep. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. So, so I'm clear. Yes. Yes. May Exercise ba tayo, coach? Teka, <laughs> review lang natin yung ano ah. Um, so, squats, push-ups, lunges, tsaka high knees. Okay. So, okay. I, before magsimula yung proper, i-explain ko naman kung paano i-regress or i-progress ng bawat isa sa atin. Alright, so, okay. ayun. Um, kunin ko lang yung paraphernalia ko din. Oh no! Ikaw, eh, eh, uh, anong gamit mo dyan? Well, Ay, gamit ka ba dyan? No, kasi ako yung example ng mga taong walang gamit sa bahay bukod sa yoga mat. <laughs> Amin. At siya nakapag-yoga ka pa rin kahit pa ba? Kapag nag-yoga, nagpa-plank lang ako at saka mga core ab exercises. Mm, every day. Every night? So weird. <laughs> Wait, night ko gin- Ayan, parang naka-bulletproof si Coach. So. Pero may weights daw na laman yan. Ang hirap daw, no? Ang isuot mo yan everyday. Bigat din siya. Mukhang Bigat madali siya. pero mabigat din. Okay, Coach. Ayan, so first, um, recap pa squats, push-ups, lunges, and high knees. So four movements lang. Uh, basically, nagpupukus sa lower body tsaka upper body push. So, first squat, gagawin natin siya ng 15 to 20 reps. Afternoon, without any rest, diretso tayo ng push-ups. 15 to 20 reps din. Tapos, lunges, 15 reps per side. So, static lunge siya actually. Or better yet, static squats. Okay. The next high knees. So, as mentioned earlier, na each one of us would represent a different uh, fitness level. So, kay A, uh, squats, body weight lang. So, you just have to keep your foot planted on the floor, shoulder width apart. Tapos, make sure yung butt at least parallel sa ground pag bumababa. Si Eli, then, for... Leg, legs mo lang nakikita ko, Eli. <laughs> Tangka, Jay. Paano ba natin ang gawin? Yung, wait lang, yung screen mo, Jules, di ba we're supposed to have like lunch? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, nga pala. Thank you for reminding me. Kaya pala tayo hirap sa framing. Ayan. Oh, weird. Better. Parang mas mahirap. Mas, mas lalong nawala, eh. Yeah. Oh, okay lang yan. Okay ba yan, coach, yung framing na yan? Okay naman. Okay. Well, ako, kasha ako sa framing. Okay, sige, sige. Okay, game. Wala akong uwi. <laughs> ako na lang. Ah, sige, game. Ano siya? Sir- circuit style siya. Circuit style. So, right after nung, right after nung isang exercise, diretso agad. Without any risk. Okay. So, clear. 
review review squats tapos push ups push up. uh, lunges or static squats clear ba yan okay tapos high knees okay so may, yung high knees yan na yung cardio component natin May konti ko naman ko siya sasabihin mo naman pa nang start na. Oo, oh, sabihin naman. Tapos siguro, pinito na lang, para uniform, since may mga progressions naman tayong gagawin, para uniform na lang, 15 reps na lang natin lahat. Sa okay. Atin. Tapos, for eh, yeah, body weight lang lahat yan. Tapos pagdating sa push-ups, um, prior to the, ano, nasabi ko naman kung paano i-regress. Pwedeng naka-ano sa wall. Yan. <laughs> kung talaga hindi kaya on the floor. <laughs> Pero kung gusto namang i-challenge yung sarili, pwede sa floor na, in your case, talagang upon our assessment, talagang uh, pwede yung may tuhod. Pwede yung nakababa yung tuhod. Okay. Il- ilang sets pa na Uh Ideally, sana three to four rounds. Or in our case, siguro at least makadalong round tayo kung kakayaan. <laughs> Okay, game. Alright, tapos, okay, um, before that, quick warm-up tayo. So, arm circles, tsaka jumping jacks. One round lang yun. Na, meron bang pwede mag-time sa atin, kahit tig to 30 seconds yun? Kaya ba? Ah, teka. Timer. Magta-timer ako. Magta-timer ako. So, warm-up ba? 30 seconds, coach. Yep. 30. Ikaw na lang din mag-count, siguro, Jules. Sige, ready? Alright, arm circles. Sige, re- uh, Jules, ko na lang mag-signal sa atin. Okay, ready, set, and go. Ten years later. <laughs> Hindi mo kung patapos na Jules, pag i first natin yung direction. Okay, 15 seconds. Pero ano pang best time coach para mag-workout? Anytime lang. Well, ako kung ako tatanungin mo morning, uh, it anchors your day. Okay. Pero nice. like in your case, you, you have to account yung reverse lang side. Mo. Okay, reverse. Kabilang side. A best mag morning coach? Well, that's just my personal opinion. Okay. Pero... Kung hindi talaga akma sa schedule mo, what if kung work from home ka, schedule mo gabi or morning or what? Siyempre, uh, diba? Ang um, <laughs> mama siya eh. Time na ba yan? Uh, five seconds. Eh, ang pagod ka na ba? Ay, ang pagod ka na ba? Okay, tapos na. I-ano mo na lang yung countdown, siguro lalo na sa jumping jacks. Okay. Baka biglang mahingal si Aya. Okay lang, favorite ko yan. Jump and jacks, ha? Yup. Ready, set, and go. <laughs> 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 Pag-ibang music ka dito, Jules, eh. Oo nga, ano? Ipanap kong mantin lang tayo. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Okay, ready? So, squats sa yung progression. Jules, you may use your dumbbells na na-purchase online. Um, in my case, gamit ako nito. Bakit ako na napagod? Um, Naka-weight vest na ako, tapos ito lang, meron nito sa bahay eh. So, yun lang. You just have to be creative kung kung meron kong mabuhok na bag dyan or whatever, libro. Anything na external way that could add resistance dun sa movement. Okay lang yun. So, squats na coach, no? Oh, squats. 15 reps, ha? Siguro, count your own para para alam natin. Then, if ever someone finishes ahead than the other, Uh, siguro yun na yung quick rest mo, then proceed tayo sabay-sabay sa next workout. Okay. Okay? One year few watch. Ready? Set. Go. 
One, two, three, four. Lower ng auntie, Aya, five. Oh my God! Eight, <laughs> seven. Keep your back straight, Aya. Eight, nine, ten, five more. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Ah, pagod ako. <laughs> First time and next push-ups. Ano nga yan? Ah, push-ups. Uh, kung wala kang external weight backpack or ano naman, dagdag jewels, suggestion ko, one tip lang. Kung body weight na push-ups, siguro one way to make it more challenging nang walang ginagawa or dinadagdag, bagalan mo yung tempo. Bagalan ko yung? Tempo ng paggalaw. Okay, okay. Ihirap na siya. Mabigat naman yung mga problema ko, okay. okay na rin. <laughs> Pwede na, malalim-lalim na hugot yan, ha? Okay, <laughs> on the floor. Pwede na ba tuhod eh, ayan. Kita pa ba tayo sa frame? Okay na yun? Wait lang, correct ko yung form ko, ya. Eh, ya, correct ko lang, ha? Um... Siguro parang naka-plank ka pa rin, pero hindi ka parang naka-force na ganyan. Tapos pwede mo isayad yung... Suggestion mo flat on the floor ka, as in flat. Yan. Tapos, gaya mo yung gagawin ko, ah. Nakasayad ko rin yung tuhod. Kasi nangyari kanina, parang ako ganito eh, so... Malabo yung tuhod. Ano ko? <laughs> Isa pa. Ano gagawin ko ngayon? Hindi, <laughs> yan. Tama yung ganyan. From that kind of position ka magpupo siya. Pero tuhod. Hindi nakasayad yung legs mo. Tuhod lang. Yan! Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Shoulder with your distance ng arms. Okay. Coach, sila daw 15 din to, Coach. Oo, oh, 15. Pero sa'yo, hindi, <laughs> sige, 15. <laughs> Alam kong sisiw sa iyo yun eh. Bagalan mo na lang, Jules. Okay. Alright, ready? 3, 2, 1, go! 1, 2, kira ba eh? Pwede mo do 1, 3, 4, 5, kira on the wall, 6, 7, 8, kaya pa ba eh? Nine, kung mahirap, tumak. <laughs> Ten, two, eleven, last three, last two, one more. All right. Sorry, coach. Nag-plank na lang ako. Hindi ko na kaya. Okay lang yan. Um, tulad nung sinabi ko, di ba, parang pwede mong i-adapt on the fly. Yung movement like ikaw, na-discover mo na hindi siya kaya, pwede yung ganyan. Pero kahit regular plank mo lang siya. <laughs> Iba rin yung ako eh. Okay, next. Lunges or static squats. Both sides to watch. Ha? Both sides to? Yup. Tapusin muna yung isang side. Okay. Magkawak pa ang dumbbells? Kung pwede, pandagdag challenge sa'yo. Okay. Right, ready? 3, 2, and go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Last one. Right, switch side. Correct in form niya. Focus na lang ako dun. Uh, all right, ready. 
3 2 1 go Yun, nandun mo eh, na off balance ka. Yung back leg mo, atras mo pa ng konti. Yan. Alright. Much better. One. Two. Three. Four. Adjust mo yung front leg ng half inch forward. Ten more. Last eight. Seven, six, five, better form. Keep yourself stable as two. And, all right, stop. All right, next, high knees. So high knees, do 30 seconds, Kaya. 30 seconds. Yep, okay. timer okay lang. All right. Timer lang. Paano nga itong high knees? <laughs> Ganun. Signal mo na lang. Okay, guys. Let's see. Game. Game. One, two, three, and go. Ano, Eya? Last day naman natin ngayon. <laughs> Last day na natin. <laughs> Ten seconds. And three, two, one. Ah. So that's one round. Okay na tayo. Idea... <laughs> Target sa is two. Actually, minimum three sana, three to four. So, yung rest mo between rounds, one minute to 90 seconds, depending on your fitness level, of course. And kung masyado matagal yung one minute sa'yo, siguro as fast as 45 pwede. Tapos yun, um, basic lang naman eh. The idea is gumagalaw ka. Tapos... In general, the whole day, physically active ka, not just the exercise. Kasi common problem, papansin ko, okay, may workout routine ka na since hindi ka naman guided, hindi ka sure kung tama yung intensity. Tapos the rest of the day, Netflix, Chibud, Kain. So, wala din. Parang yung majority of the day mo, spent mostly inactively, apart from the workout you did, tapos puro ka palamod. Parang mm. papansin mo, <laughs> ay, day, day ano na, parang wala nangyayari. Kasi, dun sa ganong idea na, ang idea mo ng physical activity is yung one hour or 30 minutes or whatever time na dinevote mo to it. Hindi okay. eh, apart from that, you should go beyond it na, in general, physically active ka. Oh, uh, so, pagod ako ng coach ah. Namiss ko yung, <laughs> ano, Na-miss ko pag ikaw nagko-coach. <laughs> Grabe, napag-pawis na naman ako. Ang napansin ko kasi, coach, pag ako lang nagko-workout, feeling ko, may effect naman, pero wala akong pawis. Ayun. Yeah. Pwede mong mag-comment dyan. Kasi, well, ito yan ah. Uh, isa sa fitness myths kasi yung sweating, waiting to fat burn, or sweating having a good workout. Pero, in reality, hindi naman eh. Um, pag nag-sweat ba tayo, well, una, ano ba sweating, di ba? Way yun ang katawan natin ng pag-regulate ng body temperature. So, ano ba yung nalulose pag uh, nagpapawisan? It's just basically salt and water. So, it may be an indicator of intensity ng workout mo. Okay. Pero, for it to be a barometer or marker na sorry ningal din ako <laughs> for it to be a barometer na nagburn ka ng maraming fat medyo out of place condition na yun kasi uh, it doesn't work that way kasi yung iba dyan purposely magsusuit sila ng uh, thermosuits pampapawis 
uh, mag-workout sila sa mainit na lugar para lang pagpawisan kasi isipin nila. Pag pinagpawisan ako, mas marami akong malulus na fat. Uh, yun yung medyo out of place na. So, huwag kang malungkot kung di ka pinagpawisan if that's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Although, nakamiss nga yung feeling na <laughs> nagpapawisan, di ba? Pero don't make it as your sole barometer of having a good workout. Kasi pag di ka ba pinagpawisan, ibig sabihin, kahit na intense yung ginawa mo, ibig sabihin, pangit. Hindi, di ba? Yeah. Ikaw, Aya, kamusta workout mo? Hindi na appreciate ko kasi kailangan talaga, better talaga kapag may coach kasi nakakorrect yung form. Kasi may iba yung feeling kapag pinapapawisan ka lang, akala mo okay, okay lang kasi sumakit ka, sumakit ka yung muscles mo or something. Pero mali, mali naman yung form. So, I don't yeah. think the, the intent or the goal is achieved talaga. Okay guys, so briefly, ikakat muna natin yung uh, broadcast natin ngayon and babalik tayo mamaya, so papakinggan muna natin itong um, live feed mula sa message ni President Duterte. So hide muna tayo ha. Para lang marinig natin kung anong mahalagang announcement kanya. This will be back later. So, may panahon tayo to rest muna. All right. All right. Okay. Wag lang kay Alice. Okay. Nasaan na ba yun? Ay, ito. Sister, brother, stranded here. Uh kung clear na if they are really cleared by the medical authorities that is binding especially if it is well it has to be the certification of the department of health if the department of health your department secretary doge would certify that she has undergone the test not only against uh, the presence of antibodies, but the, vi- the, the virus itself, that she is uh, virus-free, then we have to make arrangement that they can go home. Uh, hanap tayo ng paraan. Uh, we'll just... Uh, ihatid talaga natin ito sila doon kasi cannot... Hindi, we have a stalemate here. What do we do with people waiting tapos okay naman sila? So, you have to go into a testing, every, each and every one of them, and uh, uh, find out if they are fit to return and that she, she or he is not a threat to the community. But to say that just... Uh, Hindi kayo pwedeng pumasok even coming from abroad. And even if staying there for already more than 14 days without uh, anything happening to them, then the national government, Makinika and local executives, the national government will insist that you accept the OFW. Magkakaroon ho tayo ng problema if you resist. Because then, uh, as a worker of government, it falls upon my shoulders to see to it that everything is done fair and so uh, I'll, I'll listen to secret. Uh, uh, Vince, uh, okay. Mayor, just on that note po, just for your information po, um, nung pong nag-lockdown uh, po tayo nung March, uh, meron pong mga 200 na OFWs na na-stranded po sa Clark, uh, most of them from Mindanao, uh, 38 of them from Davao. And we took care of them po, we housed them in a hotel, 
uh, for about a month and a half now. And I'm happy to report po through the help of the Department of Transportation and the National Task Force. Uh, today po, the 38 uh, Davao residents already went home to Davao today. Sir, uh, actually sir, we have prepared for the, for the OFWs uh, for their return. In fact, uh, they're being fed by uh, OWA. Uh, the, the hotel uh, uh, accommodations is being paid by OWA and also by the uh, mining, mining companies. So they are well, well taken care of. Sir. Then uh, we will, uh, we will uh, give you a presentation by, by uh, Mr. Vince Dixon on how we will immediately uh, swab uh, our, uh, our, we, we organize a micro swabbing uh, areas so that all the OFWs will be swabbed immediately so that they could go home. After they were tested negative, maybe after three days or four days, they can uh, go home already with the certification of the Bureau of Quarantine that they are COVID free. Yes, I, I, I think that there's uh, no valid reason really to delay the return yes, yes, if they are uh, found to be free from yes. infection. Yes, sir. Sir. To, to, to dilly dally on this, uh, uh, it's uh, to me a cruel thing, and it is not good for. I, I'm happy that you have an uh, onahan uh, and you were step ahead, yes, sir. and I said you're prepared. Sir, actually, sir, we prepared with uh, because I'm taking orders uh, from uh, Secretary of DOH and also with the National Task Force and the ISILG. We are co coordinating, sir. That's why we make a, a, a plan on how we can swab them immediately so that uh, after three days, we can swab all these uh, 23,000 percent. So maybe we can, sir, uh, we can, uh, we can have a Before that, may I just uh, say that uh, itong mga uh, medical people, uh, you know, you have your own uh, opinion your own uh, view of uh, what is good and what is not. So, alam mo yan, there are those who agree with you and those who vehemently uh, disagree with you. Uh, gusto ko lang malaman ng lahat na ang Secretary ng Department of Health I see Secretary Duque and this government, my government, my department will be guided by what Secretary Duque would tell us to do. Uh, I may listen to, to the, the conflicting claims, but in the end, uh, it is the Secretary of Health who decides uh, his... Your word is the, the lawyer, because we are not... Uh, and I'm sure that uh, you'll be helping. But before that, uh, <clears throat> uh, as of today, there is 9,485 cases yung positive ito ang what is very uh, significant is the uh, recovery rate of uh, the persons who are uh, hospitalized or or had this uh, uh, infection it's 1315 and that is a good number if you compare it to the deaths uh, uh, 623 now, come to think of it, really, mababa ang ano natin. They said that uh, itong uh, corona ng putres na to uh, uh, has a hard time surviving in a hot, uh, tem high temperature. So, pagkaganon, Maybe that explains the reason why na hindi mo masyado marami. Look, we, cooperate with us, wear a mask, because if not, kung magsabay-sabay, then we will have an overload 
Now, do not tell me later on na hindi tayo nag-prepare. Because we have so many hospitals. That's why it's called pandemic. Uh, if it's local, it's epidemic. Pandemic is worldwide. Tinamaan lahat. So, just cooperate because wala naman kami hangarin dito para pahirapan kayo. As a matter of fact, we are really trying to figure out how how we can ease up uh, the the miseries that has that uh, that has been imposed on us. I just wanted to start po, um, with the permission of Secretary Duque and Secretary Galvez um, with a quote from the WHO, no, and I think it's very important for us to understand how important testing is in this battle against COVID-19. Uh, and I just want to read the highlighted part. You cannot fight a fire blindfolded. And we cannot stop this pandemic if we don't know who is infected. There is a simple message for all countries. And that message from the WHO is to test, test, test. Uh, sabi nga po ni General Galvez, uh, kumbaga sa gera po, kailangan i-unmask natin yung kalaban. No? Kasi kung, kung, kung ano, kung hindi natin ititest, hindi po natin alam kung sino po ang nahawaan na nitong kalaban na ito. Ang kalaban po ay yung disease, hindi po yung taong may sakit. Ang kalaban po ay yung sakit itself. But to unmask that, we have to test. So, it also, I think it's very important, especially from a communications point of view, uh, Mayor, that we need to ramp up testing to save lives. And alam naman po, yung mga kababayan natin, marami sa kanila, higit na, ka, na nakararami sa kanila, eh ganito po silang mamuhay, no? Dikit-dikit sa bahay, uh, wala naman pong ability to self-isolate. So, kailangan po talaga i-test natin ang mga kababayan natin uh, para po mahiwagay natin ang mga may sakit dun sa hindi may sakit. At protektahan po natin yung further spread ng COVID-19. And as you said earlier, Mr. President, po, um, hirap na hirap na po mga kababayan natin, hirap na po ang ekonomiya. Kaya the only way, and this is, an, this is just drawing from the global examples, sa New Zealand po, nakawala po sila sa lockdown simply because they moved swiftly, they tested wildly, and they relied heavily, uh, heavily on good science. And I think we are guided by Secretary Duque and his team on the science part. What the challenge now is really how do we ramp up our testing to the levels uh, in which we can be comfortable enough to start easing the restrictions because we know that if we have the testing capacity, mabigis po tayong makakatest, mabigis po nating ma-identify kung sino ang may sakit, at dahil dun po mabigis natin silang ma-isolate at mapipigilan ng pag-surge ng infection sa community. So, the first um, critical issue po with respect to testing is the laboratory testing. Ito po yung sinasabi po kanina ni Secretary Duque na matagal na talaga niyang pinag, uh, tinutulak na mag-ramp up po tayo ng lab testing, yung pong tinatawag na RT-PCR. This is really the most effective way of testing for COVID-19. So, just to give us a, an idea, in February of 2020, we had three laboratories. In now, we have 20 laboratories. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao na po yan. Our goal, uh, Mayor, is to build 58 more or to accredit and uh, operate 58 more laboratories para po by May 30, in less than a month from now, we will have 78 laboratories all over the countries, strategically located in areas that can really address 
the future surges in the communities all over the country. Right now, po, there are about 58 already in the advanced stages of accreditation. And that is really what we need to do. Po. We need to speed up, and uh, Secretary Duque emphasized this, po, we need to speed up the accreditation of these labs in order for them to begin operation within the month of May. As an example, po, no, um, I, I, uh, this is really not meant to uh, no, no, uh, either uh, pat our backs or also at the same time belittle us. But if we look at Vietnam, Mr. Mr. President, Mayor, po, no, Vietnam, po, in January of 2020, had three labs. Tatlo po ang laboratories nila. Ngayon po, they now have 112 laboratories. No, um, and this is, I think, we can, we can draw from the experience of Vietnam and all other countries like Korea and Germany, those that have tested very, very swiftly and very broadly. Kasi ito po talaga ang way. Eh. Once na we have enough testing capacity, sabi nga po ni Secretary Duque at ni Secretary Galvez, mas magiging kampante po tayo na mag-ease ng restriction. So, test per day, we look at the best countries in the world. Germany is ahead 120,000 tests per day. No, very, very aggressive po. And talaga pong gumastos siga ng katodo-todo dito. No? This is not cheap. ART-PCR test ranges anywhere between, I think, 2,000 to, for the private labs, I think it goes up to above 5,000. No, it's, it's not cheap. But it is absolutely necessary po. We need to really invest in the testing capacity. Also because... We know that a vaccine is not forthcoming soon. After detecting, uh, testing, and tracing, we need po to isolate. Kaya po nung pong, um, kaka-appoint lang po ni Secretary Galvez, uh, as Chief Implementor, tinawagan po niya si Secretary Villar and myself para po bilisan ang pagtatayo ng mga mega quarantine facilities. Uh, at kailangan na rin po natin i- I fast track ang construction ng mga ito sa iba't ibang lugar sa Pilipinas. Nung pong, Friday, uh, nung pong Saturday, nasa Zamboanga po kami ni Secretary Galvez and uh, tutulungan na po natin si Mayor Ben Climaco na magtayo ng quarantine facilities nila uh, dahil nga po may upsurge in cases sa Zamboanga. So we have to isolate them. Uh, then we have to treat them. No? Yung isolation point treatment, they go hand in hand. Because we want to uh, make sure that our hospitals do not get too congested. Uh, under the efforts po of the DOH and the, N the IATF, nagtayo po tayo ng mga mega swabbing centers. Dahil po hindi lang lab uh, mayor ang ating challenge. No? Kaya, kasi po kahit na po tayo may lab, kung wala naman pong specimen na itetest yung lab, eh hindi po natin matetest ang ating mga kababayan. So ngayon po may napakalaking effort initiated by the Executive Secretary na kumuha po ng mga volunteers from all government agencies to come out and help in the swabbing uh, and encoding and uh, barcoding of our mega swabbing centers. We are building four today. We started po last week and they will all be completed this week. Secretary Galvez. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, for, for now, sir, we will uh, uh, prioritize the 20, 25,000 OFWs. As per your instruction, we will, uh, we will uh, make sure that uh, they, will, they will go home immediately. Sir, uh, I would like to report on uh, uh, on my compliance to you pertaining uh, going going to the field. So when uh, we heard that uh, Sambanga is already uh, there is a spike of uh, cases, uh, we, com we you know we we talk with uh, the mayor, and uh, as a uh, immediate immediate actions that you have give, give the instruction, we will you know we will uh, we visited the three laboratories there in uh, in uh, Sambanga and we we brought 1,100 kids po sir. Yung po ang instruction sa akin na pag kami nangangailangan, kailangan po uh, ibigay po kaagad. So kahapon po, nagpadala ulit tayo tayo ng another C295, yung more or less na 46 boxes ng RITM para ma-operationalize yung, yung uh, Department, of, uh, Agri uh, Depar Department of Agriculture Laboratory na doon po nilagay yung laboratory po ng, uh, ng ating uh, mahal na Sektar Duque 
uh, baka mo mag maging operational po na po yun within the, within, within the month. So tatlong uh, laboratory po ang uh, itatayo po natin sa sa Sambuanga City to also cater yung Sambuanga Peninsula, Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi. Ah, sinabi ko po kay Mayor na kailangan po uh, pangalagaan niya rin po yung Bangsamoro dahil kasi yung kanya pong uh, location, isa po ang melting pot ng, ano po, ng, ng barn sa Region 9. And uh, he, he accepted the uh, Uh, our, uh, he want, who want to convey her thanks to you, sir, for acting immediately uh, during the, you know, the, the time that they need. Because they, they text me and they, they, they said, please help us. So immediately, we, the Secretary of National Defense uh, ordered me to, to proceed to, to, to Sambuaga City, sir. Sir, complied, sir, with your instructions, sir. And uh, our, ano, our PPE, uh, 200,000 will be brought to uh, Dabao. Uh, as per instruction, your instruction also, it will be uh, our uh, uh, main depot so that all, all the supplies be needed by, by Mindanao will be taken from, from the Bausen. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody, beginning from Secretary Doge, Secretary Andio, Secretary Galvez. Ay, ang ating workhorse talaga dito. Well, I know that you uh, overwork kayong lahat, especially Harid masyado yung ano mo, Secretary Doke, but that is the price of uh, uh, public service. You are crucified, you are uh, lahat na uh, criticized severely, but in the end, when you retire or even uh, for the day, you sleep and, uh, and if you think that uh, what you did for the country, uh, medyo ano ka na, uh, ka na. So, this I would like to, I'd like to address myself also to General Anyo. Uh, the responsibility of uh, controlling COVID is not a national responsibility only. A part of government Kaya nga dito, I operate as president, then since I cannot run my own errands, mataming trabaho, so meron akong Secretary of Health, because I cannot be my the Secretary of Health defense lahat na. So, uh, I cannot, uh, as the saying goes, I cannot run my own errands, I function through the cabinet and down the line, ang local government falls under the DILG headed by uh, Secretary Anyo. Uh, kailangan tumulong kayo. Even in the matter of the swabbing thing, uh, if you can provide a place uh, uh, for the uh, health uh, guys to operate uh, comfortably and immediately do it Para sa inyo yun. Trabaho ninyo yan eh. Hindi lang yan trabaho ng local government. Just don't tell us to uh, baha problema yan. Tapos sabihin ninyo mag-close-close kayo dyan. Well, I, 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 I see the, the validity of that move. But then again, you have to, you know, come to terms with the Constitution. Uh, I heard also, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, uh, sa city of Iloilo, hindi ninyo tinanggap yung mga OFW. Uh, sir, uh, Mayor, uh, nakikiusap ako sa inyo na uh, sundin lang ninyo yung guidelines. Uh, I will uh, operate through the DILG. Kasi... It's either sumunod kayo or I will impose it on you. Sumunod kayo sa magandang paraan o pipilitin ko na sumunod kayo. Which is actually, uh, you know, I do not want to embarrass people. I, I have uh, full faith and confidence. Uh, sa Iloilo siguro, I think by this time uh, it has been... Uh, uh, resolve. Important lang that uh, uh, the returning workers, uh, our brothers and sisters, 
who have labored abroad uh, to give us also their share of uh, their income with us. Kaya yung uh, remittances ng dollar is uh, one of the uh, pillars ng ating economy. Uh, GDP niya is uh, malaki ang binibigay ng OFW. So we do not want to repay them with this kind of behavior. So Davao, I think, uh, Inday has uh, accepted it according to Bong and the others. The other places do not play heroes. Uh, 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 avoid it because uh, uh, I said, we remain to be a unitary form of government. We are not federal. Federal, makaano ka? Because you have a great uh, uh, thing about uh, local autonomy in its, in its uh, purest uh, form. Ang Pilipinas, hindi po, it's presidential type and uh, being controlled by the national government, lalo na ito mga ganito. I do not have to lecture. I just want to remind people also listening na ganun ho ang ating patakaran. Now, uh, yung baka sakali, uh, itong mga lalabas, observe the, in the meantime, kindly, please kindly observe the mask and the distance rule. Yung medyo malayo ka na. Huwag kayong magdikit-dikit because yung nga sabi nila eh, the easiest way to transmit is to be kissing each other. Uh, de, <laughs> and that's the worst kind of transmission. Uh, if you want to transmit your love, go ahead. But you know, uh, not uh, all people are your lovers, so you better keep the distance. At itong uh, yung mga big business, uh, let me tell you something. Meron tayong mga problema noon, which was really part of governance and which I hope you'd understand that it was really part of my sworn duty as, a, the, as an employee of the government uh, who heads the executive department. Words were, uh, well, uh, mainly mine, but uh, if you just can forget it uh, for the moment, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping us, helping us, uh, you know, provide the necessities of the moment. Uh, uh, we, we can, uh, I, I can promise you that uh, I'll be nice, uh, and uh, if you want to see me, we can talk, and naubos na yung pagkasuplado ko kasi dahil sa the COVID, the COVID, the COVID humbled me that uh, with the kind of uh, response that uh, you gave uh, showed to the public, uh, it's a humbling experience also for me that, uh, you know, baka kailangan mo rin sila balang araw. So maybe uh, there would be a lot of... Uh, legal issues, but we can talk. I am, am ready to talk. Uh, and I'd be reasonable. Uh, yung mga masakit kong salita uh, to the Ayalas and to uh, 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 si Pangilinan, uh, I, I apologize for the hurting words. Uh, if you can find in your heart to uh, forgive me uh, because uh, if you do not then I will ask and the, and the, if you do not want to forgive me I will uh, undercut you I will go direct to God 
God, ay, ayaw ako patawaran itong atong si, ano, uh, magyaw, yun naman ako. So, itong pinakamahuli, I'd like to, say again, uh, it, it did involve the, pero be careful because, again, the NPAs are around. Now, uh, uh, there is no longer hope for uh, further talks with the uh, season. So, itong tracing, ito bang uh, positive ka tapos nakausap mo o na-embrace na, na, na mo o naghalikan kayo tapos naghiwalay na kayo. It's the tracing eh. Iti-trace namin yung tao, sino ang mga kausap mo sa mga araw na to. Kailang ka nagkaroon ng chill sa uh, fever. So from that time, you reckon that uh, you had already, uh, you have been infected already, and so we begin to trace the people whom you have, con have contact with, talk with, because uh, easily uh, the, 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 the virus, uh, especially if it's baski uh, mag-usap lang, delikado ang hangin. So. Itong tracing would, uh, ano ito, trabaho talaga ito ng mga barangay. Yeah. And the police. Uh, but gusto kong anuhin ang police, eh, kaya lang, times are not really normal. Uh, talagang papatayin kayo ng NPA. Pag makita kayo, because they want your firearms. Uh, alam mo, mainit masyado yung M16 pati M14. I know that. They're itching to get it from you. That is why, be careful, kayong mga sundalo ko, pati mga polis, ngayon na, huwag kayong magkumpiyansa. Do not be too confident about it. Pati yung istasyon na raid They will kill you. And I'm telling you, kill them also. Kaya lang, hindi ko kayo mauto sa mag-tracing. Sana madali, may sakyan. Eh, kaya lang delikado. So, dito na ako sa local government sa mga mayors. Uh, Secretary and you would provide the guidelines of how you can help us. We are not asking you we are requesting you to help us. Kasi hindi talaga kaya ng national government lang. Without the local executives patay, we will crumble. So, your, your, your toil is as good as mine. Nasabay-sabay tayo. And meron dito na ano, uh, Sinabi ko na sa inyo noon, wag sa panahong ito. Merong mga, wala akong, ano, I am, basta local government uh, employees, lahat naman tayo workers eh, diretsuin natin, local government workers, I do not want to, Uh, to mention titles here. Meron, sinabi ko na sa inyo, huwag ninyo, do not, lang kay, good boy ako nga, na, uh, uh, hindi ako magmura. Sinabi ko na sa inyo, na kung may gawin kayo, huwag sa panahong ito. Alam ko noon pa, sinabi ko na sa kanila, na ako nagre-resist, na ipadala ko sa, alam nila yan, no? kasi pagdating dyan sa local government units, the mayor, si Bing, o Beng ba yan? Si Beng, uh, pati si, sila, sila Inday, talagang nagtatrabaho. Pero yung mga minsan, down the line, downstream, So, wala naman kang kasing 
Walang tao na sa karami thousands ito. De, we requested the local government units. Ang mga mayors naman, kindly, kindly look into the people that you have commissioned to do the distribution sa pera. Kagaya nitong uh, Barangay Kagawad Danilo Flores ng Agustin Hagunoy Bulacan. Ang putang ina mo, nakuha ka pa ng you know, the, uh, television na may ano doon, grab, or oh, it's not grab, it's uh, actually a nakuha ka na hinihingi mo. <laughs> Mahirap na nga, ikaw may trabaho ka na, kagawad ka, ang putang ina, kukunin mo pa yung pera ng mahirap. I would like to presume that you were elected because your constituents find you to be a man of uh, integrity, honesty, and that you can perform. So, wala akong ano dyan. Kaya naistingnan niyo itong mga empleyado na ito. Sabag ka, Pati itong for peace. Sabi ko na nga yun, eh, this is a directive. This is a, a direct order to everybody. Pag mag-distribute kayo ng pera, huwag ninyong ibigay sa mga putang inang yung mga asawa na ibigay ninyo sa babae to the wife. Huwag ninyong ibigay dyan sa mga lalaki, lalaki mga walang, wala na nga ginagawa, wala nang Walang trabaho, walang binibigay sa pamilya at mayroon pang dadating na pera, sinusugal naman ninyo iniipot. Kung ako ang mayor, maabutan mo. Drinking ang gambling sa tulong ng tao. Ano? Masabihin mo, hindi na mabigyan. That is also unfair. You know why? Kaya kakaramihan itong mga gagong to, hindi naman naniniwala sa... They don't really care about the family. So, kung sabihin mo na hindi mo nabigyan, eh, paano yung mga bata, pati anak? So, uh, I'm sure, uh, Secretary, and you will confirm provide a mechanism of how to, to do it. Either we give you the supplies, uh, hang, hang, ano, yung, sa, sa, uh, the amount that you are going to receive. We can always give you the equal value of what you should be receiving. Pagkain na lang. Kasi yung ibigay mo, baka itong mga wala ng trabaho, ibigay mo naman sa asawa yung pera, maglasing doon sa labas, tapos pagbalik, um, inutil na nga ang putang ina niya, magbubugin pa ang asawa. Wala namang ibang mabugbo. Bakit hindi ka magbubug yung... Wala, maghanap ka ng polis dyan, no? Batukan mo ulo para makita mo. Itong mga ito, marami yan. They are a plenty. Kaya yung mga Pilipino, pag malasing, wala nang binibigay sa pamilya, nang bugbog pa ng pamilya, bata pati uh, mga kababayan ko, I hope that uh, I have enlightened you about what we are doing. Lahat ito wala. Itong lahat discussion ito, COVID, tapos to protect and save the Filipino. That is all there is to it. Maraming salamat po. Inatasan po ako ng ating Pangulo na inanunsyo na sa kagustuhan po ng ating Pangulo na matigil yung pangungurako at pagdating po sa SAP at iba pang ayuda ng gobyerno na ginawa po ni Kagawad Danilo Flores ng Hagonoy Bulacan, siya po ay magbibigay ng pabuya ng 30,000 pesos 
sa lahat po na magre-report ng mga local officials na kumakana o kinukurakot ang mga ayuda para po sa mga mahihirap. Tumawag lang po kayo sa 8888. Siyempre po, kung gusto nyo ng ayuda, eh, mag-iiwan kayo ng pangalan at telephone number. At pag napatunayan po yung inyong reklamo sa korupsyon laban sa mga lokal, lokal na opisyales na kinukurakot yung mga ayuda na pinamimigay ng gobyerno, 30,000 pesos po ang pabuya na ibibigay ng ating presidente sa inyo. Alin sunod po ito sa zero tolerance na ating presidente laban sa korupsyon, lalo-lalo na po doon sa mga kumakana at kumukurakot ng ayuda para sa mga mahihirap. All right, so natunghayan po natin ang mensahe ng Pangulo. Yan yung kanyang daily uh, report, I mean weekly report, every Monday nakaatas yun sa Bayan Inanlo na kailangan niya mag-report sa ating bayan patungkol sa mga efforts ng gobyerno. Babalik si Aya na, na out sa kanina. Okay, ayan coach, so bahagyang na... Hindi, naputol yung routine natin kanina pero nakapahinga rin kami ni Eya. At ilan natin si Eya makabalik. Kaya na si Eya. <laughs> sige, pero sige. Pero kahit ang iksi nung workout kanina, Kuts, parang ano, parang full body exercise yung nagawa natin. Uh, yun yung idea kasi parang syempre uh, short period of time. So maximize okay. mo lang. And ganun naman eh, Let, let's say compress ka for time, space, madali lang siyang gawin sa maliit na area. Tapos at the same time, since big muscle groups yung nagawa natin, uh, mas mani yung calorie burn na nagagawa kasi syempre, mas maraming muscles involved, mas maraming. Tapos dagdagan mo pa ng parang cardio. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Pero like what I've said, hindi siya about mm-hmm. pawis or dingal. Okay. Coach, um, kanina nung nag-workout tayong lahat, uh, syempre nakafocus tayo dun sa overall fitness ng ating mga kababayan. Pero magandang pag-usapan naman natin ngayon since after, uh, midnight na rin pala. Kamusta naman yung kalagayan ng mga ano mga workers sa uh, fitness industry given na uh, yun nga, mawawalan sila ng trabaho. Paano yun? Well, um, one, yan yung sad reality. Pero I, for myself, um, siguro I could only speak dun sa mga kakilala ko na lang din. Or siguro yung sitwasyon namin sa, I think we're well taken care of naman kahit pa paano dito sa amin. Pero syempre, yung fear of what looms ahead beyond me, uh, syempre nakakatakot na lalo na kung September magbubukas, um, Siyempre, walang revenue yung club, um, sang kukuha, etc., etc. Um, advice ko na lang sa mga coaches ko, ano eh. Um, la, racket talaga, racket. You have to adapt sa situation. Kasi otherwise, wala, mapag-iiwan ng kayo. Um, yun yung nakalungkot na reality ngayon. Considering na, diba, cut hindi kasama sa kategory ano ang fitness industry when malift ng ECQ, di ba? So, kahit G- GCQ na inyong nakalungkot dun. Parang, nisip ko din eh na, di ba, tingnan mo ano yung mga magbubukas ng industry. Uh, tobacco, meron na. <laughs> um, GCQ, di ba, may ano pa ba? Mga miliktay, bukas sila. Mm-hmm. Parang alam mo yun, um, yung 200 yung inaano ng government na, na kailangan ng fitness for ganito, ganito, ganyan, na um, importante siya. Ganyan. Pero it's set aside eh, na nilagay siya sa dulo na um, parang dahil sa nature ng work nyo, hindi pa kayo pwede magbukas. Kesyo ganito, um, yung mga protocols. Um, hindi sure kung masusunod, kaya alam mo yun, parang naisantab yung fitness industry, pero yung mga industry yung pinayagang magbukas muna, <laughs> doesn't promote health or wellness din. So parang, ayun ko, nakakalungkot lang din. Kasi parang wala akong magawa sa sitwasyon eh. Parang ako, I myself, kating-kating ako magtrabaho, um, kung kilala mo ako, <laughs> um, parang buhay ko ang gym eh. 
um, nakakamiss siya. Pero wala, parang ayoko rin namang isugal yung belt. Kasi parang sa kakamadali nating kagustuhan magtrabaho na, kumita, or go back to what was before. Uh, we might tend to parang overlook rin naman na, yun nga, yung safety. Kasi kakawish natin na sana masama sa GCQ, sana malift, sana ganito, ganyan. Sana payaga na magtrabaho ulit. Okay. Di ba? Parang okay. baka may ma-overlook ng mga bagay. Okay, yeah. Before um, we wrap up, what, 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 are your, um, what words of motivation can you leave for our uh, friends in the fitness industry and for the people watching us na nagsistart pa lang sa fitness journey nila at home, um, what kind of uh, motivation din yung meron ka to stay on your track? Well, one, siguro dun sa mga co- co-coaches ko or kapwa sa fitness industry din, um, siguro talagang we have to learn to adapt sa sitwasyon. Um, we have to think ways how to, ayun, um, feed our families, um, bagay ka nga, yun, rumakit. Yan yung dikte, kahit magpagulong-gulong tayo dito, ngumawa tayo. Um, hawak tayo sa leg ng mga policies ng sitwasyon. Uh, for people naman na uh, who are embarking or about to embark sa kanilang fitness journey, uh, you just have to take the first step. Um, start moderately. Um, kahit sabihin natin mag 50 squats a day ka, just start, simula lang kayo dun. Kasi kakasim- kakaplano nyo na kailangan ganito, kaka-research nyo na uh, na-compile nyo na lahat ng mga best researches ng workout or best available workout dyan. Tapos na yung quarantine. <laughs> so, you just have to take the first step um, of course, seek advice from professionals then if needed. Kasi mahirap din naman na workout ng workout na hindi rin safe yung ginagawa natin. So, ayun. I think, lang, kapit lang. <laughs> okay. Coach, as we end, um, para sa mga viewers natin na gusto ikaw maging coach, ano yung pwede nilang gawin? Lalo na kapag magbubukas na rin yung mga gyms, paano sila pwede mag-contact sa Anytime Fitness? Well, one, I'm almost available seven days a week dyan sa Anytime Fitness Maginhawa. So, visit lang sila doon. Um, they may reach us through our Facebook or IG accounts. So, AF Maginhawa. And, ayun, pwede na rin lang akong DM for questions and all. Available okay. naman most, most of the time. <laughs> Even during GCQ, pwede ka ba nila maging online coach? Why not? Open naman tayo dyan. <laughs> okay. Kontakin niya lang si Coach Oli sa Instagram. Yan ang Instagram mo, Coach, para makontakan nila. Yung, uh, Coach Oli underscore 1026. Okay. Ayan, tama. Coach Oli underscore, uh, Coach underscore Oli underscore 1026. Para sa mga gusto ko online coach, si Coach Oli, follow niya na siya sa Instagram. Coach Oli, maraming salamat sa iyo. Pasensya na, na-delay tayo. Dahil na rin. Anytime. Uh, no sa... problem. Maraming salamat, Coach. <laughs> Anywhere fitness with Coach Oli. Thank you so much, Coach. Ingat ka. See you soon. Bye. Alright, Ea. Ayan. So, very interesting yung naging episode natin ngayon. Kasi mula sa fitness, biglang pumasok si Presidente. <laughs> Tapos... Back tayo dun sa welfare naman ng mga workers din sa fitness industry. Yes. Ayan. Oo. Um, pero yun, siguro ang maganda dun, ang parting words nga ni Coach Oli, kapit lang, tuloy lang. Uh, whether mm. fitness goals mo yan or this entire journey ng ating quarantine period, tuloy lang, kapit lang. Kahit start ka pa lang mag, mag um, start sa iyong fitness goal, so, uh, start lang and stay on track. Mm-hmm. Ayun. Ikaw, how's your workout? Alam mo, uh, yun na, 20 days na ako nag-workout with my app. Um, I think may effect naman sa akin. Pero iba talaga pag nagko-coach si Coach Oli. Kasi yung pawis ko talaga ang lala. Usually, one hour kami per day. Kapag 
kapag nag-workout kami, tapos ang intense talaga nung pawis ko. So, yun yung nami-miss ko. Kasi, mi- minsan kasi pag sarili ko lang, ang tendency kasi even for others, pag nag-observe ako, puro phone, puro Facebook, Instagram, kaya maraming distractions. So, iba talaga kapag may coach. Tapos, ayun, yun yung takeaway ko dun sa fitness. Pero, bal- puntahan lang natin, mabilisan lang yung naging message sa uh, message ni President kanina. Well, at least nung mga cabinet members na rin. Magandang nabanggit doon itong best practices ng iba't ibang bansa, especially ng Vietnam. Uh, maganda na may recognition yung national government natin on how other countries are dealing with it, especially Vietnam, na zero deaths pa rin. As, as far as I'm concerned, ah, uh, if I'm mistaken, pa-correct na lang po kami. Pero so far, Vietnam, zero deaths sila kasi naging maagaran at maagap sila sa pagpaplano at marami silang labs. So I think more labs yung dapat nga gawin dito as suggested nga ng cabinet kanina. Yes, and um, malaking bagay yung pag-highlight sa testing capacity talaga. Yeah. Um, the more we're able to test, the more um, we'll be able to kind of contain the virus, hopefully, habang naghihintay tayong lahat ng end ng pandemic na to. Kasi without the vaccine and without any cure, we don't know when and how this will end, right? That's so, it. ayan, san- tuloy-tuloy yung progress para sa pag- Um, strengthen at pag-improve ng testing capacities natin here in the Philippines. Okay. Last segment tayo, Aya. Of course, every show, uh, tinatanong din natin ito, ano bang ambag mo? Okay? Ano bang ambag mo? Kasi trending na tanong yan, especially ngayong ECQ. Okay. Ano bang, sino bang featured natin na organization today, Aya? Maraming initiative, no, for the COVID-19 pandemic. At yun yung sobrang nakakatawa. Pero, Tinry natin maghanap ng medyo fit sa ating theme tonight. At merong initiative, ang um, Food Tray to Go, um, to feed our frontline workers. Yan. Um, this is um, a, a, an image by the 2030 Youth Force in the Philippines for Food Tray to Go. So what they do is, yan, they encourage customers to um, donate For only 85 pesos, you get to sponsor a meal for frontline workers. At ito po ay dinadala nila sa iba't ibang hospitals um, in the metro. Yan. So, Food Tray to Go is a food business really. And they have food trays talaga. Pero what's nice about it is that they don't stop there in their business. They use their business as a platform to reach Um, other, the frontline workers. Ayan. So, nagluto naman sila ng food. So, if you want to add an order for the frontline workers, might as well for only 85 pesos. And if you will go to their Instagram, which is at foodtray2go, when you go there, you'll see yung mga food trays na nga. Very appetizing naman talaga. So, yun. Yun yung isang innovation. Hindi naman innovation, pero kumbaga, it's a creative way to help ng isang business. To for our frontline workers. Yeah. And so congratulations and thank you, sa Food Day to Go for what you're doing. Okay. Yes. Ayon. So just go to their Instagram or message them on Viber or Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. Ayan. So very interesting naging um conversation and workout natin today on Wednesday, guys. Super interesting ang topic natin kasi we're talking about S E X. We're talking about sex in the time of pandemic. Sorry, sex life. Sex life. And, yeah, sex okay. life. Kaya meron tayong makakapa... <laughs> May sense naman, sex life. <laughs> okay, sex life. Kamusta ang... Oh, para malinaw, uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about sex life mm-hmm. um, on Wednesday. At meron din tayong kasamang specialist mm-hmm. to um, give it insight and to explain us uh, scientifically and candidly things that we would want to um, learn or to understand. Kasi diba syempre pag sa quarant talk, pinag-usapan natin yung lahat at diba ibang klase ng concerns na meron tayo, na meron kayo so kasama na yan doon so kailangan natin siyang pag-usapan. Yeah, that's true. Kailangan siya pag-usapan so as much as possible alam kong very conservative pa rin ang Pilipinas, as far as I know. Pero syempre, mahalagang pinag-uusapan itong bagay na to. Lalo na maraming naka-lockdown ngayon. So very important kung paano ba responsibly i-handle ang sex life ng mga tao. Yes, for this week, medyo ang focus po natin ay health. 
in general and well-being. So on Friday, maganda rin ang ating topic. Pero last Friday na namin i-reveal. And abang, follow us on Facebook um, to for the updates. All right. Yes, are we ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ayun, thank you everyone for joining us again tonight. Um, kita-kita ulit tayo dito sa daldalang walang curfew. Pag-usapang hindi na lockdown, ito ang Quaranto. Quaranto. Live po tayo sa Facebook yes. Mondays, fr- Wednesdays, and Fridays, 11 p.m. Yes, and follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Quaranto online. Ako si Jules Giyang. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jules Giyang. And please watch Bagong Pilipinas Morning Show on PTV, Monday to Friday. Yes, and I'm Aya Antonio. Connect with me on Twitter at Aya underscore Antonio and on Instagram at Aya Antonio. See you on Wednesday. Good night. Yeah, good night. Work out. <laughs>